and I'm back wearing glasses and sounding a bit croaky there have been issues I will cover that later anyway the Saturday wrap for a new month by the time you watch this it will be the 1st of June 2024 I as per usual I'm cheating and doing it the day before um, okay so if you haven't seen this before this is my week that was a look back on various things bits of music bits of weather bits of fine ale uh, some politics some tech all those sorts of things and um internal camera and lots of video processing maybe even a smaller file who knows he says trying not to sneeze if i sneeze it'll be it anyway the word or phrase of the week campaigning it's now election season and um, campaigning is in full throw i remember in the good old days it was a vote for me i'm your boy stroke i'm your girl stroke just vote for me i have a feeling that that would work for all parties a lot better than what they are doing at the moment uh making a complete hash of it uh don't vote for me because i don't say vote for me <laughs> there you go anyway the app of the week um so you need a word processor and you have an apple account you don't even have to have an apple device because this works on the web as well um but yeah if you want to type out things and do stuff pages pages in iCloud pages on the Mac um, pages on iOS pages on iPad OS it's free it works very well it'll read in and read out word files and it's nice and it's really easy to use as well when I say easy I mean relatively easy <laughs> the thing of the week two things together sickness vomiting uh, upset stomach body says get rid of everything as quickly as possible extreme tiredness yeah that's been my thing of the week and today uh, i have been working at home uh, i don't like body sometimes well quite often to be perfectly honest however something that cheered me up the song of the week i'll find my way home by john and van Gellis. John Anderson's voice, absolutely excellent. And Van Gelis, before his time, excellent keyboards. Really like them. I really like them together. A great single. And I think it was a hit as well. I need to look that up. Anyway, the week that was started on Saturday, started early with MB06, back to Portis Head. I like Portis Head. I really do. Except when I tried to start blogging from my iPad or iPads, Squarespace, they'd broken their app again. You were really annoying me, Squarespace. You got a great system, but your apps, you just kick them out there without testing them. Please make them work. Oh, by the way, uh, a new update has now arrived. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm hoping for it. Um, a Sunday in Porter's head it was really nice in the morning it had rained overnight but so in the sirens calling at the far end of the marina sitting there not too busy hammers down with rain the place completely and utterly fills up couldn't even get to the bar luckily i had a seat yeah fair weathered drinkers you should be in the pub all the time not just waiting for it to rain that was my opinion um monday um before i left to come back from porter's head i bought table flip it's in the mac app store it was 8.99 i haven't really tested it that much yet uh, but i'm hoping hoping i can use it for the european championships for the tables there and get them on the website squarespace again and um while i was having breakfast in the premier inn there was a sign there that said due to global shortages we may not be able to always provide orange juice. I'd seen this before um, in Gloucester where they didn't have any orange juice, but I was unaware 
totally unaware of any world shortages of orange juice. Maybe it's just their supplier. Who knows? Uh, and got home and found out my earbuds had failed. Earbuds don't last very long with me. And I have a feeling that bargain basement ones tend not to last. Luckily, I usually have two or three pairs and rotate them. And there is Prime next day a delivery. And to change the bed clothes, um, 4.5 TOG is now on the um, duvet. It got colder overnight, which was suspicious because it went from 13.5 to 14.5 and then it got colder. But, you know, it was almost June. Ah, Monday night, uh, stomach ache, nausea, vomiting. And you can guess what else happened as well, yeah. And that went on all through the night. So Tuesday I was off work. Uh, and I just, I was completely washed out. Really washed out. Wednesday, Wednesday I was back to work. Feeling much better. Ah, there you go. Um, And on Wednesday night I was supposed to get a delivery of compost via Amazon. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night to see an email to say they delivered it at 8 o'clock and they had a signature. In the morning went down to have a look. Uh, no delivery, no card, no nothing. Uh, found out it was Hermes. Okay. Long story short, the day after came home, it had been delivered and there was a card through the door saying, sorry, you were out. Um, in the meantime, I'd been on to Amazon and to the supplier complaining bitterly that they hadn't delivered it, which they hadn't. Uh, what a waste of time every stroke Hermes are. Eight o'clock in the night, he was probably going off shift. Why not say I'll deliver it tomorrow and stop wasting everyone's time? Thursday felt pukey in work again. Uh, poured lots and lots of water on it and waited quite a while until I felt well enough to come home. Today, day working from home and the sun is out. And I am feeling betterish. Not sick anymore, but still a little bit tum tum. And I have my contact lenses in. These are the things that happen when you have bodies, especially old bodies. I have a feeling it's something I've eaten. And I can possibly guess what it was, but I'm not altogether sure. So uh, if in doubt, throw away. Um, there will be no Saturday Bino tomorrow then. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. And um, comments are always very welcome. Bye-bye. Where's the bye-bye button?